Maths fans, hello. Uh, simultaneous equations using the graphical display calculator, the Casio FX CG50. Uh, and I'm going to show you two methods for solving simultaneous uh, equations. Uh, one is going to be graphically, and one is going to be using the equation solver, the simultaneous equation solver um, app within the calculator. So, both of these uh, are fairly simple, but you might get thrown a few curveballs. Uh, so, the first method we're going to just use uh, the equation solver. So, on my calculator, I'm going to go to equation, which is A. So, I'll click equation, and I'm going to click simultaneous, F1. And the number of unknowns, I've got X's and Y's in this, so there are two unknowns. And then I get given this screen here. Now you can see uh, that at the top there, it says AN X plus BN Y plus CN. Okay, now what that means is I've got to have it in the format, something X plus something Y equals something. This bottom equation, I'm gonna to need to rearrange so that it's in the form AX plus BY equals C. Okay, we're always looking for X's, then Y's, then the constant on the end. So in order to rearrange this, um, I'm simply going to get, uh, I think I'll add 19 to both sides, add 19, and I get Y plus 19 equals 3X. Then I'm going to take away the Y, and I get 19 equals 3X minus Y. And then I'm just going to swap those two round, and I get 3x minus y equals 19. Now it's in the form that I want for this equation solver. So I enter the values here for a, b, and c. And on my second equation, there's going to be the a. b is going to be negative 1 here, and c is going to be 19. So let's put those in. The first one we've got simply 5, execute, 4, execute, and 26, execute. That second one, A is 3, and then this minus Y means that B is going to be negative 1. Negative 1 there. And finally, C is 19. Press execute, and then I'm going to press F1, solve. And there we go. We get X equals 6, and Y equals negative 1. And that's the solution uh, to that pair of simultaneous equations. That is where these two lines intersect. Okay. Now we're going to do that same thing, but we're going to show this graphically. So we're going to show it graphically. You might want to look at other features of the graph. Uh, you might get asked to draw a sketch. Uh, so knowing both techniques is very useful. But that is how we can solve the simultaneous equation using the solver. So now let's go for the graphical method. So I'm going to go menu and I'm going to go graph number five. And I'm going to clear that one, delete. Okay, this time the calculator does not want it in this form, AX plus BY plus uh, equals C. The calculator needs it in the form Y equals. So this time, let's just uh, clear all that. This time, this is the form we want it in. That one's fine. I can put 3x minus 19. 3x minus 19. So y equals 3x minus 19. The other one, I need to make y the subject. So let's take this top one, uh, and we're going to go take away 5x, so that I get 4y equals minus 5x uh, plus 26. Then I'm going to divide by 4, so I get y equals negative... 5 over 4x plus, and I'm just going to leave it as simply as possible, or rather not as simply as possible, but without even doing um, the calculation there. I could simplify this. I don't need to because the calculator is smart. So let's write that in. Negative 5 fraction 4, go across, put the x. Then I'm going to put plus, and I'm going to do 26 over 4 and then execute. Okay, I've got two equations. Let's draw it, F6 to draw it. And you can see that my two equations there uh, have gone off my screen. 
There's two things you can do. You can just scroll along until you find where they've intersected and try and read the coordinate. Uh, you can change the V window. I'm going to change it back to uh, standard, which is between minus 10 and 10. Um, and then if I draw it slightly more zoomed out graphs, you can zoom, you can do all sorts of things to change the window on that one. What I can see here uh, is that I can count, I think it's at 6 minus 1, and we already know that's the right answer. But if you're not sure, you can press G solve, graphical solve, F5 there. And intersect is what we want, intersect. So F5 again, and it'll take a little bit of time, and then it'll give you the point of intersection. And you can see at the bottom of uh, here, it says X equals 6, and y equals minus 19. Uh, so let's just click that again, G solve, whoops. And it gives you those coordinates. So that is how to do it uh, graphically, x equals six and y equals negative one. Okay, let's give you one to try. You're gonna need to manipulate the equations to put them in right, but try and do it both ways. Uh, one with the solver and one with the graphical method. So here's one for you to try. Uh, so pause the video now, have a go at it, and then I'll give you the answer in a second. Okay, let's go uh, menu, and I'm going to do this one with the equation solver. So we're going to go down to equation, and simultaneous F1, unknowns 2, clear what I've got. Um, this one is already in this format, so I'm just going to type in 5, 3, and 4, and then 2x minus 2y and minus 8. Let's enter all that data, and there we go. We've solved it. x equals minus 1, and y equals 3. And then if you want to do that graphically, we'll go to menu, number five is graph. We're going to need to make y the subject. So in this top equation, take away the 5x and I get 3y equals minus 5x plus 4. Divide by 3 and I get y equals minus 5 over 3x plus 4 over 3. And let me just clear this bit. And then for the other equation, let's make y the subject here. I'm going to start by adding 2y, I think. So I'll get 2x equals 2y minus 8. Then I'm going to add 8, and I'm going to get 2x plus 8 equals 2y. Now I'm going to divide by 2, and I get x plus 4 equals y, or y equals x plus 4. So let's delete these equations that I've got here. Delete, delete. And let's put in the ones I've got and just check we get the right thing. So negative 5 over 3x uh, plus 4 over 3, plus 4 over 3. And then for the second equation, x plus 4. And let's draw that. And we can see a point of intersection there. That's good. Let's G solve to see what we get. And we get x is minus 1 and y equals 3. There we go. So that's the two ways of using your GDC to solve simultaneous equations.